Well, a blessed good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. Welcome again to Moments of Inspiration with your friend Minister Rick coming here from Hatchet Bay, Eleuthera in the Bahamas. And today is day five of our declarations and decreeing a thing. And today, listen to me, man, I'm doing a victory lap today. Hallelujah! Yeah, I'm doing a victory lap today. Listen, man, I am so proud. I'm so happy. I'm so excited because I believe that when you decree a thing, like our memory voice says, you know, our memory voice came from Job chapter 22, verse 28 says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you and light shall shine upon you. And we've been talking about that all week. And let me tell you, yesterday, I had a tremendous breakthrough in my life. Glory be to God, because I decree a thing, it was established, and today I can shout glory, hallelujah, and today I'm doing a victory lap. You know what is a victory lap? You know when you're watching the Olympics or you're watching those big track and field events and those athletes win the, silk, the gold medal, man, someone hands them the, the country flag and they just do a lap around the track. I mean, we've seen the Bahamas Golden Girls do it. We've seen the Bahamas Golden Men did it. We've seen so many tremendous athletes in the world. When they win the gold, they grab their country flag and they do a victory lap around the track. Hey, this morning, Minister Rick is doing a victory lap around the track. Hallelujah! <laughs> Glory to God. I decree the thing <clears throat> and it was established. And today I give God the praise and the glory because today I have the victory. I have the flag of God raised high and I'm running around the track giving God the thanks and giving God the praise because it is in Him we live. It is in Him we move. It is in Him we have our being. Yes, God gives us the victory every day. I decree the thing. Mm -hmm. I remember we were talking about this from Monday. I decree the thing from Monday and yesterday it was established, glory be to God, and the light is now shining on me. My question today is, what are you waiting for? Yeah, you. You listen to me every day. You hear the word of God come at you every day. What are you waiting for? Yeah, to try God. Everything around you is failing. Your job is gone. You know, your bills are piling up. You know, everything COVID-19 is taking control of our areas. People are dying. People are falling sick. What are you waiting for to try God? Why haven't you tried God yet? Serving God works. I told you a couple of days ago, you cannot just make up your mind, oh, well, I decree I can be rich. I decree I can have money. I decree I can have No, it has to line up with the word of God. So I'm inviting you this morning to line up with the word of God. Give God your life. Yeah, accept him. Turn your life over to him and watch him fulfill your life with victory, blessings, and honor. Listen to me, man. God cannot fail. God cannot fail. Try God today. He cannot fail. Decree a thing today. My believer friends, my Christian friends, this thing works. Job says, decree a thing and it shall be established. Hallelujah. And today I'm a, witness. I'm a witness. I have the victory because I decreed a thing. Listen to me this morning. Psalms 37 and 25 says, I have been old. This is David speaking now. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And the word seed there means his children. My children, Minister Rex's children, will not beg for bread. Because I, hallelujah, glory be to God, have never seen the righteous forsaken. I have never seen the seed begging for bread. My grandmother, my grandfather, my mother, my father, all of them trusted in the Most High God. And their seed, hallelujah, will not beg for bread. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. Decree. And declare your victory today in Jesus Christ. Sila, think and act on these things. God tremendously bless you today. Amen.